Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is Professional Paper Vision, and we're looking at Chapter 2. And this is a Chapter 2 teaser. What is this supposed to do? Get you excited about the content in Chapter 2 and also explain some of the direction that we're going. Right here I have a simple application that basically grabs a Flickr images. And so uh, you just type in whatever name you want and you hit search, and here we have flowers. And I have a, a number of examples uh, created using the iLayout element. Carousel, Mixer, Random, Wall, Cover Flow, uh, Carousel 2, Tunnel, Ball, Twist, and Warm. We're going to take a look at a few of those, but let's come down here a little bit. And below, I have this little slider here, and as I slide this slider, I can actually animate uh, the uh, different uh, configurations. So let's take a look at a few of those. So I'm going to center this so we can see everything. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to basically say, well, that's the carousel, and I'm going to slide along here, and there's the animation. And let's go down, and here's the mixer. And I'm going to bring this so you can see the whole thing. And so as you slide the animation along, you can see there's a lot of different configurations here. And there you go. It's kind of cool. And it folds up there and then folds out and goes toward you. Let's take a look at the next one. This is the random. And all you have to do is basically think of things being placed randomly. And as I scroll along here, all these planes are just placed randomly on the screen. There you go. The next one is... Uh, Wall is kind of an interesting one. I'll bring this up a little bit so you can see that. And the wall just kind of folds out into another configuration, then goes back and then folds back in. Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay, there's my wall. And the next configuration is uh, cover flow, which is typical cover flow. You've seen all this before. Bring this up a little bit. And you slide along here. There you go. And then another configuration is uh, Carousel 2, just showing you two rows of Carousel, very easily created using the new CS4 uh, I layout element. Let's go to the next one, uh, Tunnel, and uh, just a little tunnel system. Let's go to the next one, and this is a ball. This one's kind of cute. This one's kind of cool. Everyone likes it. And just basically, the images are going in and out of the ball there at the sides. Kind of a source and sink. There you go. Um, then there's a twist, which is basically just kind of a corkscrew idea. And finally we have the worm. <laughs> this is kind of funny. There you go. There's my worm. Going around, basically it's a, a series of images going around a torus. Now all of this is done without paper vision, and it's done with just a few lines of code. But before I move on with that, I want to show you some really good references. One is Easy Flex. This was actually one of the first examples, I think, on the web using iLayout. It's called Wheel Layout, and you just go ahead and follow this address. And let me show you their example real quick. And they have a single wheel, and they have a slider bar, and they're actually using the Flickr tag. So I got all that from that code. Didn't have to work very much. Now there's kind of just rotates around. So they had one example. Uh, and it's animated, uh, at least in that rotational direction. And there's another one. And this is Ryan Campbell, and his blog is www.ryancampbell.com. And both these guys released their source code, and that's wonderful. Isn't that a nice-looking guy? He's ready to code. So if you've got a project, just email him. I'm sure he'll be glad to help you out at his price. And he does a uh, 3D layout for Flex, and it's a really good example where you can actually click through and uh, choose a number of different examples from a list. Let me show that to you real quick. I'll bring up my Flex. I just downloaded his code, and I... And since started both of these examples, I placed in my Flex Builder, and I started working through those, and I built my example, so which is an iteration of theirs. And so let me go ahead and show you his. I mean, I think this one is it. Let's run this. And there we go. He's got these, uh, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six examples, and they're really cute. And uh, you can go through those. Uh, but his doesn't animate. They just uh, switch indices, which is okay. And uh, mine actually animates in a circle. And so actually, I took both of those codes. I added animation that I got from the one, and then multiple examples that I got from this, and I actually created a bunch of my own examples. So let me show you what I did. And I think it was a nice iteration of both of these code uh, pieces. Now, at this point, you might be going, what the heck's going on? I thought Chapter 2 was about paper vision. This is iLayout element. This is Flash 10, and this is no paper vision. What's going on? Well, when I started writing this book, I had in mind that, look, 
I want this cannot just be a book about menu items about how to do paper vision. This has to be a book about what's inside of paper vision, about how to hack paper vision, and about how to make it better. Now, paper vision has not changed much over the past year. So, in this series of videos, I'm not only going to show you what's in Chapter 2, but how to start porting paper vision 9 into Flash 10. And that's the reason we're giving this little teaser on Flash Layout. The big deal is what used to take thousands and thousands of lines of code can now be done with just a few few hundred. I mean, we're throwing out tons of classes because all of that is now inherent in the Flash Player 10. And with I layout element, uh, the uh, layering is done automatically through a simple single line of code. Now how was this constructed? I basically took the wheel layout that was from EasyFlex and I rebuilt it with a switch case. So here's my switch case, and in my switch case I have my 10 examples, case 0, case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And when you hit that combo box, let's go to uh, design view real quick. When you hit that combo box, basically it sends the uh, data element, which would be 0 through 9, to a getter and setter method, which basically goes to the method which runs the switch case. And so it's really simply put together. Let's take a look at the code one more time. And my favorite example, of course, is the worm. So let's take a look at that. And there is our worm. Man, this is fantastic. And there's just not much code here. Adobe has really raised the bar on what can be done in 3D. And in this chapter, we're going to start taking full advantage of what's been done in the Flash 10 player.